Dudes in Space here, and we're making Dollar Tree Italian food. And it's gonna be so good, you're gonna smack your grandma. <laughs> you went to a New York accent at the end of it. No, it's an it's authentic a little... Italian <laughs> okay. accent. All right, I've got an idea. I'm brewing and storming in my head, and I think we should do one, the easiest, the cheapest, the most simple Dollar Tree version of this, and then we should do two, which is the second option, so two. So it's not 11, it's two. Mm -hmm. The fanciest, coolest, best version that we can muster up in our head. How's that sound? Sure. Well, good, because we've got these ingredients over here. We've got good and one dollar cheese manicotti. <laughs> And this is where we're gonna start. We're gonna cook this as authentically as possible. We need to get an 1100 watt microwave and before cooking, we need to lift the corner of the lid to vent, but not. No, 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 no. Do we remove the entire lid? Okay, so okay. I'm vent, that's it. Can we get a pre-peek at that? I haven't seen it. What's it like in there? <laughs> uh, well, now that I've... Next step is microwave on high for three and a half minutes. Then we're gonna stir, and then we're gonna cook for an additional one and a half minutes, and then we're gonna let them sit in the microwave for two minutes. That's a lot of, of doing <laughs> stuff. What was the first step, three minutes? You read. <laughs> oh, so. um, three minutes, then one minute. It's magic. Now we wait. Yeah. I'm ready. Oh wow, look at that. It looks like Chef Boyardee's version of manicotti. How could it possibly need to cook more? It's so hot. I'm ready. Are we ready for this? Ah, uh, sure. The reveal. Um, that looks kind of vaguely like manicotti. Yeah. I'll call it, yeah. It smells nice. This is gonna definitely burn my mouth. Hmm. Oh, this is hot. Oh, that's weird, that has lots of flavor. That noodle is way rubbery though. I don't enjoy that at all. Really? I no. thought it was surprisingly good for what nah, it was. Nah, it tastes like Chef Boyardee's pasta. Look, look at how angry he is. You know, I'm just gonna eat the other noodle here. Please do. I thought it was terrible and disgusting in every way. And the cheese tastes like cheese. That's something that's got going for it. I personally think we can do better than that. Oh, we can totally do better than that. Even with these crappy dollar store ingredients we have here. Everything here was one dollar each. All right, so what we're gonna make here is some carbonara kind of-ish creamy pasta dish. We've got ham, not guanciale, but it's ham. We've got pepperoni. Okay, that goes on top of pizzas, and pizzas are Italian. We found some cheese, butter-ish, seasoning stuff, alfredo sauce, asparagus, pasta. It's gonna be delicious. First thing, boil all of these noodles. Use the water that you've had going for the last hour. Yeah, you know, but boil half of your pasta. Yeah. That's how they do it in Italy. How do you think we get this open? <laughs> That'll work. Mm. Mm. Now, at the dollar store, you'll find that it has bits you probably Ooh. don't want to eat. That's just to butcher your dollar store meat. We have had this ham before. Yes, and we added salt, which is not what we're going to do this time. <laughs> ham. This is the best asparagus. I'm sure it was uh, from Hmm, it's weird they don't put where they got it from on there. Let's dribble this off a little bit. God, that sounds disgusting. Yum oh! Give your noodles a stir. Make sure they're doing fine. They're doing fine. This pan's still coming up to temperature, so we've got a second. Let's get that butter going. We've got our seasoning. Can't forget about our seasoning. Yes, and just to reiterate, all of this dish from the dollar store. We've got Italian toast. It's gonna be delicious. From the Texas province of Italy. <laughs> All right, this is making noise. That's cool. Smells like butter. Let's go in with some ham. All right, let's give it some of our garlic pepper or garlic and pepper, whatever it is. <laughs> that is a weird combination <laughs> of seasoning. Well, that just kind of pours out of those gigantic holes more so than shakes. Gonna go in with a little bit of that. Maybe not all of it. Maybe that's just enough. Hot. 
Oh, oh basil? Oh, basil action? Doesn't get more Italian than basil. Mmm. Now for authentic oils. We're gonna put some pepperoni in here. Mm-mm. Get it open. Good old cured meat. All right, let that go for just a couple minutes. Mmm, that smells good. It looks crappy, I'm gonna be honest. We're gonna focus over here on the pasta. Noodles, they're right here. Might as well put some more butter in there, right? Look at that guy. That's uh, Alf Alfredo sauce. So it's chef's essence. Mm, Can like, you smell his essence? Smells like something. Mm. Right, that's going in there. Mmm, glickety glickety. It looks like glue. It is glue. But I mean like... Like Elmer's glue? Yes, exactly like that. Going in there, look at that. Got all those essential oils from the meats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what essential oils are. <laughs> and we're folding, we're folding. So how much better than Spapegi and meatballs is this gonna be? Negative 100% <laughs> better. Typically, you know, you would serve this a little bit differently. You would want to top it instead of mix it all together, but we're gonna do a little baking action to get some cheese and some stuff on top of it. All right, let's, let's focus on our Italian toast. Look, you can tell it's Italian because it has basil and it has tomatoes, and those are only Italian ingredients. It's Italian toast. And done. Wow, six whole slices of Italian toast. That's a good bit. Toast. Why would you do Why would you do it that, that way? That makes no sense. Now they're perfectly laid out. Here's a delicious pasta dish. Mmm, it looks so good. Cheese, right on top. Don't be stingy. Get cheese up in there. What is he doing? Is he crazy? Yes. I feel like this de-authenticizes your no, dish. This is true Italian <laughs> cooking right here. Okay, maybe a little more green stuff. Into an oven, 20 minutes, you're good to go. That toast smells good. I'm sure it has that same chemical taste that every Texas, I mean Italian toast I've ever had. Yeah, for sure, that's a product of Italy. Yeah. After much time in the oven, we're ready. Toast on the left. Pasta on the right. Look at those guys. Look yep, good. That looks like toast. Oh me, oh my. Look at that. Just wish this was pizza. Since you made it look like pizza. It's pizza pasta kind of. Not, a, not at all. This is gorgeous. I cut it into four so that we could do this. Look at that. I can't believe how well this turned out. It's so crunchy and still green and stuff. Well, right, let's start with the toast. The Italian toast. That's not where anyone starts. Mm, the authentic taste of Italy. Just lick the crust a little. It's like a cleaner. I think it's supposed to taste like that. Okay. Having trouble? Got, got it quick. Ah. That's nice. What are your thoughts? It's pretty meh. Really? Yeah. Better. It tastes like cheese and pepperoni. <laughs> I taste, I taste the ham a lot, and I taste the asparagus. Now, is this better or worse? than the manicotti. I think I might rather have the manicotti. Look, I'm a red sauce person. I can't help it. That's where it's what I dig. That is Italian food to me. I get that. A good red sauce. Tomato is very important. I Tomato. think this would have been just equally as good with a red sauce in it. Now this award-winning Italian is toast. Boo -boo. It's very interesting. Very 
bad. Which, but it tastes like every frozen Texas, I mean Italian toast I've ever had. So the one with cheese are even worse because whatever cheese they put on it somehow <laughs> has a weirder flavor. It's, it's not good. Well, you know what? This entire meal could easily feed a family of five and it costs like $10? About 10 bucks, there you go. Totally worth it. Sure. I think it's it's good enough for ten dollars. And it's purdy. It was purdy. Sure. It came out of the oven. Mmm, looking good with a crusty pizza crust. And you know, I always I also see why people go for the one dollar manicotti though. Not a lot of food for one dollar, but I guess if you got ten packs of them. Yeah, that would be a lot more. Hey guys, we've got T-shirts. If you want to buy a Dudes in Space T-shirt, you can navigate over to dudesinspace.com, check out the store, and buy a T-shirt there. They're really awesome. They've got rockets on them. This is true. You can also check us out on all of our social media places. Uh, we do stuff on Instagram all the time. We'll see you in the future. Bye. Bye. Hi. If you like this video, please click the like button. Click the subscribe button and tell all your friends. And check out one of these videos. If you want to support the show, click the Patreon link.